This is Judy Sandrock, and in this video, I'm taking you through using the Kibana dashboard with our SDG STEM starter kit. SDG is the acronym for the Sustainable Development Goals. Let's get going. Step number one, I'd like you to open a browser and type in the following address, data.maxiq.space. It'll now open up uh, an access a bar and please use the username data and the password maxiq, all lowercase. Now it will take you to the discover page. Don't worry if it says that there's no data available because what we need to do is we need to change the index first so that we can see the data from our SDG kit. Right now it is landed on the weather station index. So please open up that drop down under weather station and click on the index SDG. Now, when you close that drop down, it will be on the SDG index. Now to find the data from our particular kit. So in this case, um, the kit that we're using for this demonstration is called Pride Lives. So I've typed in Pride Lives before the asterisk and I clicked on the search bar. I'd like you to do exactly the same, put in your kit name that you've configured for your kits and then click search so that you can see your data. In this case, we can certainly see the data is being posted to the dashboard. Now what we need to do is now we need to actually set up our dashboard. So what we do is on the left hand side, we go to um, the menu item called dashboard and you will see that it opens up and it gives you a list of hundreds of different dashboards. What we want to do is we want to find an SDG kit template. So please just type SDG into the search bar and um, click on any one of the templates that are available. It's important that it says templates and that it's not somebody else's uh, personal dashboard. So you, when you open it up, you'll see that in the top line, um, it needs a kit name. So please put in your kit name. And so what I've done here is I've put Pride Lives in, which is the kit name that we're using for this demonstration. And then once again, click on the search icon. Now it will display the data from our particular kit. And uh, you can see there's data from the weather sensor, from the light sensor. And if you have the soil moisture sensor, that as well. If you scroll down, you'll see that there's a data table that you can use. And if you even within the data table, you, you scroll to the bottom, you're able to uh, download all of the data. Importantly, please, you need to save this as your own dashboard. So on the top right, click on save, and that opens up a window. And what you do is you put in your kit name, and please remove the word template because you don't want other people to think that it's a template. You need to name this as your own personal dashboard. And even more important than that, please save this as a new dashboard and click save. Thank you very much and happy experimenting.